Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL payload system tutorial, I'll talk about unpaid leave formula setting. If you want to watch other SQL payload or accounting system tutorial, you may go to www.syntax.com.my. Let's go to SQL payroll. In SQL payroll system, our original setting is based on number of days of the month to do the calculations of unpaid leave. So if you want to change the setting, basically what you need to do is just go to leave, maintain leave group. For how to maintain leave group, please watch my the other tutorial video for maintain leave group. So for example, by default, this leave group, you can click on edit and there is already a setting of annual leave, medical leave and unpaid leave. So you just go to unpaid leave, UL stand for unpaid leave, go to amount and you can see a three dot button, click on it. As you can see, there's three way of calculations. First of all is default wages divided by days between start and end dates. This is mean the number of days of the month. Example, January is 31 days, so it will divide by 31. February is 28 days, so it will divide by 28 for unpaid leave. Now, let's say you select the second one, days in a month that is the working days. So how does the system know how many working days? It depends on your calendar setting. Still remember, under leave, that is maintain calendar. So inside maintain calendar, you will set the rest day. So the other is working days. So it depends on number of working days for that month. But a lot of people, what they want to do is they want to divide by 26. So what you can do is just click on custom days, put 26. Then the system will calculate unpaid leave based on the default wages divided by 26. For different leave group, they may have different calculation for unpaid leave. So it's all depend on the setting over here. There's one general mistake user will make is they thought that under payroll maintenance, maintain contributions, they already set the 26 over here. So that's why they thought it will automatically divide by 26. This is wrong. Okay, so the 26 setting is under the leave group. Now, this is how you're going to set the unpaid leave formula setting in SQL payroll system. Thank you for watching. Once again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank